Oh, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> Money. Uh, folks. You know it's a speech, folks. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't light that cigarette, folks. Yeah. Right up, church, man. Yeah. A lot of people in the know like us. Yeah. What's the season after winter? Money, 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 money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm going to appear in videos for entertainment, I want money. Folks, I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Oh, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> if I'm gonna be your fucking Brad Pitt, I want a paycheck. Money. Like, holy shit. You got that? <laughs> what? Yeah, money. If I'm gonna be your entertainment, I want a fucking paycheck. Anyway, back to the back to the story. Blood Dracul, Dracul blood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that Dracul. Oh my God. Money. They pay they bread, pay bread, bread, bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us, folks. I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money, folks. I want money. Money. She wants money. Money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Uh. Well, oh my God. It's like. <laughs> Uh, what else can I say? Oh, yeah. Give me your fucking money! What's up, everybody? That was weird. <laughs> I just kicked myself. Um, can you guys hear me okay? How's everybody doing? Did you have a good weekend? What's up, guys? Yes. Uh, um, news alert. They're still poor. Haha. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Gate? What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? <clears throat> Hope you guys had a great weekend. And <laughs> finally something to watch. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've tried to be very consistent with my Monday streams. Um, and I'm actually kind of liking it. I look forward to this every week. It's fun. Um, going great. Toasty, how are you? I am fantastic. I am fantastic. What's up, Hala Fala? What's up? <laughs> still poor. Yep, they are still poor. Why? Because they choose to be lazy bastards and not get jobs. That's why they're still poor poor. What's up, Toasty? My son broke his hand at football game Saturday night. Oh, man, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that he is, I hope he heals fast. Um, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so this week, um, the comment of the week is going to be at the end of the stream because it is extra special. Um, so this week we're going to talk about this whole like homecoming weekend thing that Molly did. And I found it like fascinating in like a dumpster fire, like train wreck kind of a way because it's so out of what I would expect from a parent. Cause generally like my kids aren't like old enough to go to homecoming dances or anything yet, but when I get to that point, I imagine myself 
being like, hey, you know, come over, stand on the front steps. We'll take a picture of you guys. Like that's generally what happens. Hey, what's up, Jules? What's up? Um, big mouth Molly. Yeah. She has a big mouth in more than one ways. Yeah, she does. Um, but yeah, you would think that if your kid is going to their very first homecoming dance, they have their first date and they're really excited and they bought them flowers and all of that stuff, right? You would think that they would be like, oh my gosh, let me, let me get their picture. Oh, they're so cute. You know, you generally have the, you meet the parents of the date, right? That that's sort of what I would think is going to happen, right? That's not at all what happened with her. <laughs> Nothing ever happens the way that you would think it's supposed to happen, right? <laughs> and it was an absolute disaster, which is awesome because now we get to talk about it, right? <laughs> so um, the first thing that I want to watch is, I want to show you guys, is a stream that she did. Um, hold on one second. Okay. So the first stream that I'm going to show you guys is one that she did um, like that morning. Um, my Hoko was last Saturday and it was amazing. I got to slow dance with my girlfriend and it was the same. <laughs> it was the night of my dreams. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Um, if, okay. I'm, I'm going to keep that to myself. All right. All right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the first video that I'm, we're going to watch, we're not going to watch this whole thing, but we're going to watch like the first, uh, section of it. And I found this really bizarre to me because again, instead of taking pictures and meeting the parents of your son's date, right. Or going out to dinner with them or something along those lines, she decides to do a live stream stuffing her face with donuts and shit talking the date. <laughs> and, and I was like, okay, first of all, that girl you're shit talking is your son's date, which is awkward. But do you think that that girl does not have social media? Like, are you like, you're fooling yourself if you think that his date isn't going to eventually see this. And she's going to feel some type of way if you're sitting there shitting, shitting on her. Not to mention, I'm wondering if she, you know, shows her parents and says, hey, my my date's mother is, you know, shit talking me on a live stream. It's it's really, really bizarre. Oh, oh, I've seen those stickers before. Jennifer Land member for three months. Woo, you're doing the Lord's work, Tosi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, she has no boundaries. Um, she even was ready to exploit her sister and nephew who live near the laundries allegedly. And her nephew worked with Brian and Gabby. Wow. That's wow. I mean, but you guys, we've talked about um, boundaries and how she loves to cross them. <laughs> I don't think that she even has a concept of boundaries because when somebody from what I would consider a sort of a normal, healthy uh, perspective pushes back on some of the things that she does. She's so shocked and offended and says that, oh, they must be jealous or they must hate me. And it's just, it's really, really bizarre. And it's like, no, you crossed pretty major boundaries and she doesn't get it. Um, cool. You remember for three months too? That's awesome. Let me put y'all up here. Where was the first one? Oh, does it not show in StreamYards? That's weird. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's weird. It doesn't even show up on the StreamYard side. Otherwise, I would um put your I would put it up there. But yeah, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. Um, she completely lacks boundaries. Yes, I completely agree. I completely agree. Um, so anyway, we're going to listen to her talk about like her son's date, which I now have found out that they are now officially boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay. Again, this, this right here, 
is not about her kid. It's about her and how she's treating this whole situation. It is, it's bizarre to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm maybe I'm the only one, but like I saw this and I was like, I've got so much to say about this. So this is her the morning before this is, well, actually not the morning before this is the morning of the, the, ho the Hoko dance. Okay. Let me know if you guys can hear it. Okay. And that weird noise in the background, I think it's somebody in her kitchen uh, stirring something with a spoon and it's super annoying, but it eventually goes away. What did she say about this young woman? Will you show it? Yes. She's about to tell you exactly what she thinks. Hey, what's up, Desi? How you doing? Yeah, she's sick. Uh, the more, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's grotesque. Yeah, it is. It is. Kids will remember exactly not exactly. Exactly. And to put this on a live stream and where the internet never forgets, it, it's really fucked up because for the rest of this girl's life, um, you know, 20 years from now, whatever, this is going to be on the internet of some middle-aged Karen uh, shit talking her when she was going to her first homecoming dance. It's just, it's really messed up. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> Hi. So I look like a happy mother right now. Do I? Well, after I get one. It's the dog's collar hitting the bull while eating. Re okay. Well, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. That makes, that makes sense. Uh, by the way, Molly, you're using that mic wrong. <laughs> if you read the instructions for um, the blue yetis, um, you're supposed to have it facing upright because it, it gathers the sound from the whole room and depending on what setting you have in the back, um, that's probably why your, your sound is shitty all the time. I'm just saying you're going to spend the money for that mic and then not even use it. Right. I'm just, I'm just saying. These <laughs> duck donuts. Maybe. Maybe. It's her cowbell. I'll be in a better mood. Her cowbell. <laughs> so this is what happens. I take a nap and I end up having more nightmares. <laughs> hey, Violet. So I say, Jake, what if Violet's eating dog food and water? They gave her a little bit of chicken at Chipotle. We went to Chipotle and we had to go pick up his boutonnieres and his corsage. Hey, what's up, Tara? So I go over there and I pick it up and I get her this big arrangement, this date that he has, right? Yeah, believe it or not, I have the exact same mic right now. So obviously it is not top of the line. However, it's very affordable. And this was the mic that I got. This is actually my very first mic for my YouTube channel because I just started doing streams back in May. So I haven't been doing this for very long, but there is a way to use it properly and it doesn't sound that bad, but it sounds shitty because she doesn't have the foam cover on it and she doesn't have a pop filter. Okay. And she isn't like, she's leaning, she's, fo <laughs> she's leaning it towards her, which now is going to pick up all the sounds from her desk. Anyway, forget it. <laughs> it's just like. Yeah, yeah, again, she doesn't read, so there's that. Jake, you want donuts? This Oreo, apple cobbler, bacon something, and then French toast. Better let me know now, because Mama's going to eat all these donuts. And it's still hot. What's up, Jeannie? I'm doing great. So, I spent 55 bucks on... Yellow roses and purple irises. And we say, meet us over at the, uh, the Duck Donut. All of a sudden, this black Camaro comes into the park. And I'm like, who is this crazy bastard? Chick gets out of the car with like an older guy. Comes up to my car, not mine. No, no, she didn't cancel. Yeah, I wonder if she has her coffee so I, shaken. 
Um, is it supposed to be choppy? Um, are you talking about the video or my mic or her mic? Let me know if you guys aren't hearing me because sometimes YouTube will be annoying. <laughs> In fact, let me, um, let me do something real quick. There. She comes up to the den. Jacob's hair just wanted to drop this off you. And she said, No, oh, this is not you. live. I said, Oh, look, the dog's here. And she goes, Oh, the dog's cute. So I say, Are you her father or her older brother? And the guy goes, Oh, you can kind of say that like that. One, I didn't like the fact that she was there with an older guy driving her around. Two, she wasn't as excited as she should have been to see Violet. And that's a big no-no, right? Especially Okay, I don't know if you guys caught that, but uh, she was mad that the date wasn't excited to see her dog. <laughs> Why? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh, this, this chick is crazy. In that cutie cute dress. And then she had just gotten her nails done. Wait for it. <laughs> and I turned my head. Wait for it. She had these super long nails that were not classy at all. <laughs> they were super long. With like these red lines through it and white and I'm like I'm thinking this girl lives in Hershey the people that live here are the biggest snobs I've ever met in my life they think they're from freaking Bel Air and I'm like she's got ghetto nails and she's with an older guy in a car hmm Okay, so apparently if any of y'all have nails that instead of being square, like her nails, if you have the nails that are super trendy right now, hey, what's up, Tarkis? If, um, if you have the trendy nails that are sort of longer, that sort of come to a rounded point at the end, apparently she says that's ghetto. Um, Yato, I fucking knew it was coming. I knew Ghetto was about to come out. Yep. You knew Ghetto was about to come through her lips. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like she, like, I, I swear, I think her and Laura are stuck in like the eighties or the nineties because all of their references to things are stuck in those decades. Not only that, but I cannot tell you how many times they've made super ridiculous comments like, oh, if you have nails that come to a rounded point, then you're, quote, ghetto. They need to get out more. Like, that is what is trending right now. Celebrities, um, artists, all these people have nails just like that because that is the thing. I don't have super long nails. But it is very trendy, which is why when you go to all these nail salons, that is what is shown as what is available right now because a lot of people wanting to get that. Not to mention the fact the reason why the girl had red and white on her nails is because um, I, ha I, I saw the picture because Molly showed it. I'm not going to show it because it's minors, but the girl had on a red dress. So yeah, if she wanted to get nails that match her dress, I mean, my God, that, that's what high school kids do. But her calling somebody else not classy while she's sitting there looking like a hot mess and stuffing her face with a half a dozen donuts by herself, chomping like a goat, her telling somebody else they're not classy, that's rich. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, I mean, just, okay. Okay. And strike three. It was strike three. She wasn't enthusiastic about my dog. So strike one, she didn't show up by herself in a parking lot. 
a minor child that doesn't drive didn't show up by herself. So apparently that's strike one. Strike two was the quote ghetto nails, right? And then strike three was she wasn't enthusiastic enough about her stupid dog. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You guys see how crazy this is? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, ugh. Um, she likes to pretend she lives in some upscale area of central PA. She doesn't. There's nothing upscale about Hershey. There's a park, the chocolate factory, and fucking outlet malls. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. It's like, okay, say she lived in a huge mansion, mansion like a celebrity. Why is it that you're going to judge a girl because she has nails that you don't like? That's so weird. That's so weird. Like it, to have the square ends on your nails like they did back in like the 90s and 80s, that's not popular right now. So a lot of the people that are uh, younger than Molly are going to have nails that are not square at the ends. I'm just saying. Go to a nail salon. Like <laughs> it's 2021. Get over yourself. Now. Let me ask you, am I overreacting? Um, yeah, I'm talking about Jake's tape. Is that what they call them, stiletto nails? Oh, yes, that would help the upset stomach. <laughs> Disney Debbie. I, you want to know something? It was upset. I went to the bathroom a couple times. You feel the same way? Okay. She had an older guy with her. And a Camaro, when they came into the parking lot of Dunk Donuts, it, it made a screech. I don't like that. Oh, no. The Camaro made a screeching noise. God forbid. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's like she's looking for reasons just to bitch. And that's one of the reasons why I could never be friends with somebody like this. Because... When you have somebody where it's like, if they're in a pissy mood, they're going to find a reason to bitch and badger people. No offense, honey, badger in the chat. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but it's just like, like, I can't stand people like this. They suck the life out of the room. They constantly make everything a negative and it's got to be about them. And I honestly think um, that she was, she was feeling kind of left out. And I think a lot of times, and you'll see this throughout the, the evening tonight, you will see that there's many points where you can tell she's trying to relive her teen and early twenties, especially the part when we get to the bar that that shit was hilarious. Why am I trash talking a child? I don't think I'm trash talking her by saying she doesn't like my dog. And hey, what's up? She's just not good enough for my son. What's up, Monkey Mar? That's it. And your 11 year old is a is isn't a teen. Yeah, her son is not 11. Her son's like 15 or 16. I think he's like getting his his permit or something right now. But yeah, yeah, these are these are high school students. These are not kids. Kids, but you know, older kids. She's not good enough for my son. Yeah, exactly. Stiletto nails are a red flag to me. It just looks. Say it. Go. Not classy. Go ahead. Say it. You know what? I'm sorry, but I want the best for my kid. <laughs> I will not have my kid date anybody with stiletto nails. Okay, sure. Uh, Jennifer Lynn trashing a kid, keeping it classy, Marissa. She is living vicariously through, through her kid. Yes. Um, it's just like, yeah, it's just a date. He's not marrying the girl, but it's like, okay, if you're going to literally make a judgment about her entire character based on what nails she wears to homecoming. Like, I'm sorry, but get the fuck out of here. Like, how many celebrities have the same exact type of nails? Lots of people wear those types of nails, especially to a formal event like that. They get them to match their outfit or whatever. Like, that's 
I don't know. To me, that's just kind of normal. But whatever. It is shallow. I'm going to be honest, the only thing that would concern me is the older guy. Um, the older guy threw me off. But we don't know who he really is, sir. He said just a friend. If your gut is feeling something is off, then you're right. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to put on an amazing outfit. I'm going to be dressing up with some Victoria Beckham pants and Christian Louboutin. I'm going to blow up my hair, do my makeup. I'm going to grab my Chanel bag or some shit like that. Oh, my gosh. And I'm going to bring them, and I'm going to stay there. Yeah, that didn't age well, did it? <laughs> not at all. Um, Megan Fox, I could totally not even understand it, the judgment regarding of appearance, period. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, lots walk into a nail salon and probably 90% of them get coffin or stiletto these days. Thank you very much. Yes, exactly. Like they're so, so dated in their thinking, the references, the music, all of that, no shade, but I'm just saying like, you're going to judge a 16 year old high school student on what kind of nails she picks. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Yeah. So we're going to see Miss Classy Molly. Let's, let's see what kind of classy outfit she wears, right? Yeah. Let's, let's see that. <laughs> because the next video I'm going to show you guys um, is what she actually wears. And we're going to see whether she actually goes to homecoming like she said she's going to. Yeah. We'll see about that. Go away. There we go. Oh. Mm hmm. Why are you? What's so funny is that I'm just like, okay, so you're going to judge a teenager for having nails that you don't like because she didn't have. Uh, French manicured nails. That means that she's ghetto. And here you are with your boobs hanging out. Okay, sure. By the way, if this is what you call blowing out your hair, I'm just saying, because if you're going to go after people's looks, then people are going to have opinions about the way that you look. I'm Sawi Wilson. <laughs> My random super chat to my female atheist overlord. Oh my gosh, Wilson, you're crazy. Thank you very much. <laughs> my goodness gracious. Yeah, this is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> oh. Behave, sir. <laughs> you have it? Um, are you putting your shoes on? I don't even think this is going, so maybe I should. Well, I don't think I brought it upstairs, right? Yeah, this is not appropriate for high school dance. <laughs> I don't have much eye makeup on because I'm going to be wearing these. But is it to my hair? <laughs> You're killing me with that. Hello, everyone's. I'm gonna be. Um, I just need my my red lipstick. Hubba hubba, a while, sir. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we clean up nice around these parts, huh? <laughs> now I haven't even put my bloody lipstick on. I was carrying that Louis Vuitton. As my mother would say, she looks like a hoochie mama. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> the kids going to this homecoming dance would not be able to have their boobs hanging out like that. I'm just saying. And by the way, I did see the girls dressed. It's a bad picture because it's super far away because uh, Molly showed it on her stream, which was really fucked up, by the way. But the girl's dress is very short, but her boobs are not hanging out. Molly's top is actually more hoochie mama than what the girl was wearing. Just saying. Purse, but now, since my husband, we're going to uh, 
celebrate his birthday. All right, got my phone. I got a charger. I got a stupid fucking mask. See, so stay fucking with me. Wear it. You put these on. I got these in Nashville right before lockdown. I never wore them. I'm wearing all black. And then red lipstick. Bright red lipstick. Right, bright red lipstick. So if you look at my eye makeup, it's barely anything. Exactly. But I need my red lipstick. Oh my God, these are amazing. Oh my God, these feel like heaven. Oh. Oh, look at this. Huh? Finally, and we took almost two years that we were in Nashville, and I bought these amazing shoes. Tell me those aren't amazing. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so you're wearing a stiletto, stiletto heels that are red on the bottom, and his date is wearing stiletto nails that are red. Okay, and you're gonna call yourself classy and her not. Okay, sure. <laughs> I just need my red lipstick and I'll be cool. XX is losing her mind. You gotta show me how cute you look. <laughs> so I'm matching my son. Me and daddy are gonna go and celebrate his birthday. Do they hurt you? Daddy's putting on a, a suit girl. Suit. I know, right? Cool earrings. I got these in Los Angeles, and I never. I wore them one time in Las Vegas, and I never wore them again. So I figured I'd throw them on for a little bit of pizzazz. She does sound jealous. You can't put the second shoe on? How come? Are you wearing the right socks? Are you wearing dress socks? The thin ones? Okay. Like I'm school. telling you guys, they are stuck. They are stuck in previous decades. Okay. You'll notice this throughout like these videos. Stay. He's going to the homecoming. So while he's at homecoming, me and my husband are gonna be dining out. Um, Laura's candle, thank you very much. Don't stall to fire. <laughs> so I got a candle today called Capricorn from Laura. And I think it's the scent that I like. I'm sorry I'm like men in black over here, but my eyebrow, my eye eye makeup is not. Really, you know, I didn't really do my I do eyebrows, of course. I've been obsessed with the eyebrows. <laughs> Y'all look crazy. <laughs> All I need is my purse. <laughs> and then you can see how cute Jake looks. Oh my goodness. With the freak? For real. Oh my god, with the freak. Those heels. I know you like them. They're a size 40. I got them at, the hell was I? Neiman Marcus in Nashville or something like that. Yeah, Neiman Marcus, Nashville. I never wore them. So this is totally shiny. Totally shiny. Which I should have taken them to the cobbler. <laughs> Aw, XX. What's the matter, baby? <laughs> That shoes are small. Yeah, it can be very frustrating listening to her because she's super loud. She's like G-Man. She has no volume control on her voice. <laughs> I Every time I do a stream with her, I have to actually put it in my editing software and bring her volume down so it's not peaking. It's ridiculous. Yeah, like every stream she does, she has to name drop about some famous person she supposedly knows allegedly. And she's always bragging about the name brand stuff that she has. And, oh, she spent this money and that she's always talking about money in every single stream. There was even a stream that she did where I guess their AC unit or whatever was busted. And they had the guy come out to, I guess, replace it or fix it. And she was reading off 
the invoice on her stream about how much money they just threw down in cash. And I'm like, girl, nobody cares. Nobody cares about any of that shit. Okay. Like, do you think that that, anyway, I just, to me, I, I don't know who said it, but it's just like people who have to brag about money all the time tells me that you probably are living off of credit cards. Well, that's just because you're gigantic. I thought you had some other shoes to wear. Hey, Booby. Booby. You want to show your dress? You want to show your prom dress? I'm going to homecoming. Uh, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Vessels, please. Please. Kiss. Kiss. You want to be mad at me? You want to kiss me? Kiss completely me. agree. I completely agree. Because I have yet to find one stream that she does where she's not bragging about something. I, there, I haven't been able to find one. Okay. <laughs> so that's basically all that there is to that. She just kind of kisses her dog and stuff. It's weird. But here is the actual main event. <laughs> so at the beginning... She's in the car with her husband and it gets kind of weird at first because at some point the Bluetooth keeps, um, uh, it, the Bluetooth picks up, I guess what she's doing or her phone picks up the Bluetooth. So it sounds almost like they're in a tin can for a short amount of time, but you can still hear everything. Um, there's going to be times towards the middle and throughout the, the rest of the video where there's music in the background. I edited this video so that the parts where the music is loud and no one's really talking, um, I've turned the volume down because really the only thing to, to look at in those parts is the visuals. And then the parts where she's actually talking, um, I did turn it up a little bit. So there will be adjustment in volumes that will go back and forth. I did that on purpose to avoid getting copyright striked. So this is her in the car with her husband. Apparently, they had already gone out to eat. And by the time they're done with the dinner, even though he originally, for his birthday, wanted to um, you know, go to a dessert place with her to get a drink, by the time they were done with their meal, he was fucking done with her and it's so like this this one little section right here is so telling about their relationship like i oh my gosh like i i would not want this kind of like bullshit whatever this is this is, i'm glad that i have a healthy relationship by the way um Strangely Beautiful, who is in the chat right now, oh, this person right here, their, the link to their original video is in the description of, of this stream. Um, I found that they had the full video. I only had clips of it because she deleted this with the quickness. So this person was awesome. They got the video. They um, graciously allowed me to download it so I could edit it. So the link to this video is in the description. So give them a like and a subscribe if you can at the end of this live stream. Here we go. This is the fun part. I can hear it with you. I want to keep driving. Okay. Drive me off. And then let me know what's going on with Jake. Well, we're right better anyway. Are you in cahoots coordinates with Jake and his timing? Is he going to a party? Is How about you and I go and have one beer together? This tie, which I didn't need to put on in the first place. You know what? You look spectacular with the tie. Everybody loves the tie. I bought it for you in London. Okay. Well, I'm going to take it. it off. Adrian, the tie is still in Okay, great. What do you think? I bought it from I, China? I'm going to write, my dear. I've been okay. This is where the Bluetooth picks it up for a short period of time. So it sounds kind of weird. But basically, he is just, he's fucking done with her. <laughs> After one dinner, he is absolutely done with her. And he's like, I want to take this tie off and I want to go home. 
And she's just like a bull in a china shop right over top of him. She's over talking him, interrupting him constantly. And he wants to take the, the tie off because he's just done with the night. He just wants to relax. He just wants to chill out, right? Well, she's demanding that he keep the tie on because, again, what did I say about the bragging? She's got to brag that she got it all the way in London. Ooh, that it's not some tie from Walmart made in China. Okay. You want a cookie? Congratulations. You're a whole, mm, you're a whole ass snob. Dog. That's my dog. <laughs> been driving around here for the last you two me. hours. I've been driving a nice car. I'm going to drop you off and I'm going to go home. Are you really gonna go yeah, home? I'm going to take this off. Do you want to take this off? How about we take the tie off and unbutton it? No, I'm going to take this entire shirt off. You want to take the shirt off? Take the shirt off. I want to get back to you now. How much exercise you can get? So then she's like, just take your shirt off and show everybody how much exercise you've been giving. <laughs> oh my gosh, Molly, he doesn't want to be on your live stream. He just wants to chill out. And if you really wanted to spend time with him and made him a priority over your YouTube bullshit, then you would spend time with him and want to do things that he also enjoys doing. Maybe you guys could have gone back to the house while the kid is gone, you know, had some fun or whatever, but no, you got to do all of this craziness. No wonder he can't stand you. And then the whole time you're talking over him, you're interrupting him. Like it's exhausting just listening to this. I can't imagine sitting in a restaurant with you for what, two, three hours, while you're just that, 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 just won't shut the fuck up. Like, I can't even imagine. My dear, I'm dropping you I'm going to call you. I love you. Make sure you're listening for Jake and know that I'm at Debbie. Okay. I'm not at Debbie, I'm at Tom Got it. I love you. Okay. Just make sure Jake has his up. So yeah, it's still connected to Bluetooth. It will, it will, uh, as soon as he drives away, it'll, it'll connect back to her phone. But like, he was just like, okay, okay. See you later. See you later. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> like, he couldn't get her out of that car fast enough. It's just like crazy to me. And she still is not, she's not getting it at all. She's not paying attention to this guy who's supposed to be her husband, who's supposed to be like her partner in crime, her partner in life, right? She just doesn't give a fuck at all about how he feels about this or what he wants to do. It is, it's just, it's, it's nuts to me. So yeah, he ends up going home because he doesn't want anything to do with what she's about to do. And she is wanting to be 20 years old again and go to a bar and well, you'll see. It connects here in a second. Cute little baby. There you go. Um, <laughs> so Jake is there with a nice girl, but we don't know what to think of her. Adrian's freaking out because of her outfit. I showed it to Tiffany. I showed it to Laura. I showed it to Pretty with Pistols. Can I go to the bar? It's 9.13? So you've already closed the bar? Yeah. Oh, no. I have to walk to Cromanti? Yeah, Oh, my God. I'm wearing heels. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Adrian. Oh my God, they close at nine o'clock. I gotta get out of here. There's a fucking death trap. Adrian, age. Girl, he left oh you. <laughs> Adrian, oh my God, I can't walk. It's a oh, no. away. Adrian. God forbid you have to walk. Age. Oh my God. You don't understand. Oh, there he is. There's my car. Oh, you bastard. So now I can walk up for Mancy. But you guys will accompany me. All right, so basically we have to wait until Jake gets out of the dance. The dance is right there. So we went out to a really nice dinner. And then he wanted to go to some dessert place. So I was like, let's go to the Hotel Hershey. And now he wants to go home to get out of his suit and tie, whatever. And now I have to walk a whole block. Look. Hi, everyone. You keep me company. Uh, uh, look at this. I'm wearing heels. There's my tits. Are, oh, my God. My tits really that big. Fuck. All right. Girl. No, ma'am. <laughs> that was not necessary. Uh, what's I'm going to say? Where do you find these people? Train wreck after train wreck. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. 
Honestly, Rick, I have no idea. Um, she looks like she's had plastic surgery. Uh, Dragna Archives. She's had plenty. Uh, those boobs are not real. Basically, everything you see right there is been altered. I mean, hey, do you, right? But at the same time, it's like, let's just be real. Like, that's all fake. So the high school's right there. We're just waiting for Jake to get out. Dude, they're making my son and all the kids. Let me put my sunglasses on at night. It makes me look cooler. All right, if I fall, you're coming with me. I'm not even drunk. I ordered chicken franchises and some mussels. So anyway, my husband very much disapproved of my son's date's dress. I don't know if you can call it a dress. It was a two-piece red satin. Even Laura was like, oh my God. Now when you get an oh my God from Laura, shit is serious and shit is lit. And she is highly offended that the Capricorn, oh, I'm right here, it's right here. That wasn't a bad walk at all. Yeah, this is, I'm not gonna lie. Even though it's her, she, oh my God. And I just crashed this wedding party and I saw the bride, she was so cute. She was like, yeah. She gave me a glass of champagne, I went to two, two sips. And then she said, take a favor, and it was this big ass Hershey kiss. But I'm gonna go over to the place where um, Ginger Locks got to a fight. Can I go? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> I think they thought I was like a drunk walker. Ah, uh, I don't, <laughs> trying to be good. Okay, that's not what they thought you were, Molly. Moving on. Okay, I'm not. Please don't, please don't hit me. I deserve it, but don't, please don't. Where's Laura? Laura said that insecure Alicia's over there bitching about me for about seven hours straight. I said, call her ass out. She's like, she's not worth it. I was like, you know what, you're right. <laughs> oh my God, Starbucks is so open. Starbucks. <laughs> you know what it's like to be the only Puerto Rican in this area? You're not the only Puerto Rican, Molly. And um, <clears throat> you're white passing. Most people do not know that you're Puerto Rican until you tell them. And why does it matter the percentage of Puerto Ricans in your area? Like, literally, who cares? Oh, my gosh. It's the shit. I'm um, sorry. I missed the beginning. How old is this footage? This is from September 18th. So 10 days ago. Uh, nine days ago. This is very recent. It's from last week. I should open the Spanish. Oh, this place is popping. We've eaten here. They got good, um, what you call it? I'm going to go sit right at the bar and have me a white claw and talk to my peeps. Be like, hey. Jake's got the Hershey pride. Everything he wears. Hershey Trojans. I'm like, do you know what Trojans mean? He's like, no. Um, she is 46, I think. Uh, 47. She says it somewhere in this video. I think she said she had just turned 46-ish, something like that. I know, square nails, bitch, please. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody under the age of 40 wears square nails. I'm just saying. I was like, mm, nothing. Oh my God, it's the woman. She's half Puerto Rican. Yeah, I know. Hey! All right, here I am walking around. Looking like I should be in Chicago or in the city. Is that okay? Thank you. Uh, but is there a seat at the fucking bar? Hola. Come on, one seat. You fucking bloody bosses. Sorry, honey. You bloody fucking bosses. I'll tell you one thing. This place is fucking hopping on a lot of nights. It's turned the shit into a nightclub. Can I take this? Okay, so this is where it gets really interesting. This entitled bitch... <laughs> Instead of doing what a normal person would do and either ask for a table or stand up and wait for someone to leave, no. She finds some guy, flirts with him, offers to pay him money, offers to buy him drinks, does all these things to try to bribe him from his seat. He's just a normal guy sitting there at a bar trying to relax. He's not bothering anyone. He's sitting there watching uh, the TV. I think there was like a football game on her or something. And you watch how she treats him. It is 
insane. It is insane. You all right or no? Done. Thanks. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't worry. Lucky that bitch didn't get smacked. Oh my god. All right. How do I get the bartender? All right. This is how you go. Hello. How are you? Stay right here. I just want to get one drink. No, 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 no. You're fine. You can sit right here and get all the drinks you want. I can. You're fine. No. No. So already she's calling him a scrub. <laughs> I've never bought a scrub a drink in my whole life. This is a complete stranger. And she's pissed that she can't find a chair to sit in or a stool. And so she's already insulting him. Like, this is insanity to me. I, I don't know. It's just the stuff that she does is so crazy that you understand why I find this fascinating. Like, but Molly, not in a good way. Okay. I never have, but it's true. You don't got Bobby I know I don't. I don't. I'm going to. Yeah, that was pretty funny. And I, I'm a very funny lady. Oh my God, what are you doing? I'm YouTube live. Hi, I'm YouTube. All right, that's fine. You don't got Bobby drinks. I'm not going to say you. You don't know. Guess that's what? You definitely don't need to buy me anything. <laughs> Trust. It's like, this is so fucking obnoxious. Oh, it gets worse. Good night, honey. Get to drink. <laughs> is it choppy? Oh, goodness. YouTube is. Okay. What is it? 635. Okay. Let me try this. <clears throat> See if this works. You're being a weirdo right it's, now. You're just being a loser, is what you're playing. I'm being a loser? Why? Because I don't want to buy your drink? Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, it doesn't no, even no, go no, like that anymore because women true. make more money than men. All right. Then. But, oh my God. Because, what the fuck is even going on right now? What are you, what are you doing right now? <laughs> Oh my God. I'm glad it's better. Sorry about that. Sometimes YouTube acts like a little jerk, but wow. So she, what she's doing is she's literally antagonizing this guy to get him to basically rage quit the bar. She's calling him loser. She's like putting him on her on it on her live stream, even though he was like, you know, leave me alone. Hey, what's up, Mercedes? What's up? Uh, yeah, it's oh my gosh, it's oh, it's so cringe. I don't, I don't even know what to say because when I saw this part, I was getting embarrassed <laughs> just watching it. Hey, what's up, Cindy? It's crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Not an accident. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. What are you doing right now? Oh, I know. It's an accident. I was saying, I was saying. Okay. Why are you still recording? I'm not accidentally recording. Right what were you thinking? Nothing. Nothing. Leave me alone. No. Turn that shit off. No, I'm not turning it off. It was an accident. It was an accident. So she spills his drink, and he's and she's like, let me, let me buy you another one. And he's like, no, no, no. Just leave me alone. Oh, my gosh, Molly. This is, this is really, wow. Okay. So did you guys see the purse that was sticking in the back of the girl that was sitting next to her? This is important because later she claims that that girl put her hands in the purse and, and was like trying to steal out of her purse. And even some of her, um, her subs and some of her mods that were watching this stream 
were in the chat saying things like, oh, that girl, watch your purse, watch your purse. That girl just put her hands in your purse. I have watched this video multiple times. I have yet to see the girl put her hands in the purse. What I did see is Molly being inconsiderate. I know, shocker, right? She's hanging her purse, that big ass purse, on the back of her chair and it's sticking in the back of that girl. And so at one point, the girl like takes her hand and moves the purse out of the way so it's not sticking in her back. That's what I saw. And then later you see her get on camera and she's like, hi, my name is Hannah. I think her name said her name is Hannah. And then her and Molly start having a conversation. Never did I see the girl put her hands in Molly's purse. But you, if you guys see it, let me know because I didn't see it. Person I've ever met in my whole entire life. You're still recording shit. Stop. What the fuck are you doing? Leave me the fuck alone. I want his chair. Can I have your chair? No. Please. Fuck no. Please. No. I stood. Please. No. Please. Oh my god. Do we know her? Yeah, I don't know her. Do Everyone does. Oh. I'll pay you the bill. Why And that's one of the many reasons why she's a Lowell's cow, because she lacks any amount of self-awareness. She doesn't get embarrassed. <laughs> Even if she claims, she, she just doesn't. She doesn't understand how her behavior is affecting other people. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> I have no idea. Is this Molly? Yes. This is her son went to homecoming dance and she said she was going to go. And instead, um, I guess it was her husband's birthday or they were celebrating a birthday and the husband and her wanted to go out to eat. And by the end of dinner, even though he originally planned that he wanted to take her to a second thing, like a dessert place for dessert and drinks, by the end of the dinner, he was so fucking done with her that he was like, I'm taking this tie off. And, you know, he goes home and she's like, well, I'm going to go out. So then she goes to a bar and is now antagonizing a complete stranger, calling him a loser, calling him a scrub, um, being super stuck up and snobby, spilling his drink, getting mad because he's like, please don't film me. Don't don't record me. She's being a complete and utter asshole right now. I 
So she's still arguing with this guy. She literally won't leave him alone. And he has now told her to leave her alone, like leave him alone multiple times. Please don't record me. Please leave me alone. W what in the hell is happening right now? No, you're not going to buy my drinks. No, you don't want, I'm not going to give you my, my chair. Please leave me alone. Like she literally won't leave this guy alone. Like this is, <laughs> this is like full on, Karen mode. Thank you, honey badger. Exactly. Like, can you imagine like one of these days when she does shit like that, she's going to get decked because like eventually when people act like complete assholes like this, eventually something happens. You're going to run into the wrong person who is not going to just walk away, pay their bill and, and leave. Like it, this is crazy. And a side of Jameson for him. And a side of Jameson for him. See, you won. You won. You won. No, 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 I didn't. You saw me. I won. Exactly, Rick. And I think uh, uh, Yato God said the exact same thing. Imagine if the rules were reversed and it was some guy doing this to a woman at a bar. Mm. Yeah. Her subs wouldn't think it was so funny at that point, but it's okay for her to do it. Okay. By the way, shout out to the random people in the background that know that she's a complete train wreck and they do the funniest shit behind her. <laughs> I don't know who you guys are, but you, you're funny. You're really, really funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> I live in Hershey. They know who I am. Right. You live in Hershey? Where do you live? Ah, exactly. I live literally two fucking miles. Oh, I live in Oh, it's choppy again. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Um, YouTube's been um, a jerk. Okay, let me try it again. Just going to... Um... Sorry about that, guys. For some reason, it's being really, really annoying. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share it a different way. I always have a backup plan. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it this way. This is probably better. So we were at what eleven thirty nine, right? Let's see. Okay. We're going to try it this way. You guys let me know if this is better and I'll change the way I do things in the future. Because sometimes YouTube is acting super weird with me. What is going on? Okay. What? All right. Let's try it this way. Let me know if that's better. It's hilarious, right? We're live, baby. Yes, we're live. Did you buy the fun ones? Would you like the round of drinks? Yes, I'm yeah. uh, They like it. Say, I like being online. I like being online. Good job, Ryan. Support us. What? That's Trump. Exactly. I'm supporter. Oh. He's a Biden supporter. Oh, ridiculous. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys heard that. Is that, is it still choppy? Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I'm getting the, um, the dreaded, uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi symbol on this stupid thing. 
That's super annoying. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if you heard what she said, but she basically goes up to him and was like, I bet you you're a Biden supporter. Now, listen, I don't do politics on my channel. I don't like politicians, period. OK, so I'm not in all that. I don't I don't. I don't want to have anything to do with that. However, it is rude as fuck to go up to a complete stranger and be like, I bet you're a Biden supporter. And then, then turn around and be like, ah, ha, ha, ha. He's not a Trump supporter. He must like being poor. Bitch, what? What are you talking about? The stuff that comes out of her mouth is just insanity to me. I, I, don't, I don't understand that. <laughs> at all. Like, I don't care who y'all vote for. Like I, like I said, I hate, hate politicians. I hate politics. I think they're all shit. Okay. <laughs> just in, just in general, but it's so rude to go up to someone and start treating them like shit because of who you think they voted for. Ugh. Okay. We'll try this. Yeah, what's her name? Hannah. Hannah? Hannah. 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 Wow, Molly. So you're shaming this guy because he's smoking because you still want that chair. That's so weird. That's so weird. You eat with your mouth open like a camel, okay? You chew like a cow, like an actual cow. And you're mad because somebody is smoking. Girl, stop. It is totally right. This is the moon five right now. Thank you. I think that's a compliment. But tell me, I don't need because I can take that in a heartbeat. <laughs> By the way, this poor girl, whoever she is, is now being accused by Laura and her mods of reaching into her purse and trying to steal something. <laughs> My goodness. Do you hang out here a lot? Not that much. Mm -hmm. We know right up the street. I live that way. Really? Behind the medical center. He's coming back. He's going to get a cigarette. Can I buy that? Can I buy these four around? These four? Can I buy these four around? <laughs> it's these two girls and these two guys. Exactly. She's plugging her YouTube channel after acting like this. And what's so crazy is that she doesn't realize that she gets all of them to sub to her channel. And then in subsequent uh, videos, and we're going to watch clips of those, where she's accusing this girl of stealing out of her purse. Like, do you think that the girl's not going to hear you say that? Oh, my gosh. It's <laughs> this, this chick is so crazy. Exactly. <laughs> Happy birthday to her. <laughs> Happy birthday to her hubby. Yes. He spends a night by himself. That's probably what he wanted. Let the bar babysit her, right? That and some white claw.
from the local world who've been following my channel for like three years. Her is Bob. It's called Baccarat Rouge 540. It's, can you write that down for me? It's insanely expensive. Yes, this was from seven days ago. The Knitting Gamer, yes. This was recent. Yep. Yep. Just not giving a fuck, apparently, at all. I wonder how she got home. Well, uh, Deborah, she literally calls her husband drunk from this bar and he has to go pick her up and also pick up the son and his date from the homecoming dance. It's like she's another child. And it's funny because uh, I think it was yesterday she tried to wreck on this and saying, oh, I only had one white claw. No. At one point in this video, you will see that she's drinking one and then she's almost done with it. She's drinking it out of this big, long straw, right? And then she pans the camera down because the 20 year old that she was flirting with for half the night goes, oh my gosh, you got four on, you know, you got four on the way. And she pans the camera down and there's four more drinks in front of her that she's about to drink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She had way more than just one. What are they saying? Are your eyes good? Yeah. Um, the sun never sets on cool. That's what I said. So whenever you have the sunglasses on Cool. Where are you? I'm in Hershey, home. A Biden supporter, LOL. LOL. Hi, Hannah. Hi. A German lady. Hi. A German lady. Hi. Yeah, she's still antagonizing that guy for his seat. And he's like, what the hell is going on right now? And she gets in his face and says, money talks. Okay. So what she said she just did, I don't know if you heard that, but what she said she just did is that she went to the bartender and paid for all of his stuff that he had ordered to try to get him to leave and then gave him a huge tip. <laughs> like, uh, you are a whole ass asshole like that. What are you doing? What are you doing, Molly? <laughs> oh my gosh. If you guys want a Venmo me, my Venmo is H E J O N E S. And it's so great. Hey, I'll repeat that again. H E J O N E S. And 
And I left that in there, Molly, because I hope some random stranger does Venmo her some money because you completely slandered her on your YouTube channel. So fuck you for that. So I left it in there. So he's getting heated because he goes out for a smoke and while he's gone, she takes his chair pays for his tab and gives the bartender a huge tip. And he comes back and is like, I wasn't done drinking. I wasn't done sitting here. And she, she's now picking a fight with him to try to act like she's the victim. Like, oh my gosh, girl. Meanwhile, also keep an eye on the blonde because remember her mods are now saying that this girl was digging in her purse, which is a whole ass lie because I have not been able to, to find anywhere where that happened. The whole time she's looking at the phone, the phone is sitting on the bar. And so the girl's looking at the phone and laughing and reading the comments off of the phone. And then at this point, she starts looking over Molly's shoulder to the guy that Molly is yelling at. That's what's happening right now. So again, if you guys see the blonde girl, Hannah, Reaching into her purse, you let me know because I was not able to find it. And I slowed it down in software. So I think they're just lying. So she just lied. She's lying to the bartender now because earlier she said, hey, let me buy your drinks and I'll take your chair. And he said, no, don't buy my drinks. I, you know, you're not getting my chair. I can pay for my own drinks, blah, blah, blah. Just leave me alone and stop recording me. So then he leaves. She takes his chair, pays his bill and gives the bartender a hundred dollar tip and then lies now and says, oh, well, him and I had an agreement that if I paid for his tab, I could get a seat. And I'm just like, this is this is an actual person. OK, this is an actual person who is living. <laughs> I don't understand. I, I just don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. This is okay. Yeah. That is definitely a power move. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I don't know about, I don't know if I would even be able to find that guy. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, that, I mean, that is insanity to me. And I've seen a bunch of people in the chat say this, but people go to bars, especially bars where they're just eating and watching a football game. They go there to chill and hang out with their friends. They don't go there to be accosted and harassed by some Molly, whatever the fuck she is like that. Like that's not why people go to bars. Oh my God. All I tried to do was get his chair because my heels are so high. Hey, 
Okay, I missed that part. She tells the guy she's single? Oh, girl. This is so... <laughs> oh my gosh. That guy is probably never going back to that restaurant again. <laughs> He's going to have like PTSD and every time he goes into a bar... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, rewind. Yes, I will. I'll go back. Bartender failed there. He should have been aware of his patron and asked her to leave. I agree. I agree because she's the one that came in. Um, she started the issue. She antagonized um, the people at the bar who were paying customers. She's acting like a complete buffoon. And then when he leaves, she takes his chair, inserts herself, and pays for his food and like then when he comes back in, she won't give him the chair back. Like, it's just weird. I would have made her leave. If I was the one managing that bar, I would have been like, get, get out, get out. You are causing a scene, get out. That's what I would do. But I totally agree. That bartender failed. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And she thinks it's funny. Um, who, who said it? Yes. Yeah, someone has threatened her deserved. Yeah. She said, yeah, he's probably going to hit me and it's deserved. It's like, why are you putting yourself in that position? Never mind. This is Molly we're talking about. Okay, so I have to make a comment here. Um, and my comment of the week, which is going to be at the end of this stream, touches on this. Um, and it's Rose Waters video. And she makes a fantastic point and says it way more, uh, just way better than I. She was articulate about it um, in, in ways that I didn't even think. But when I saw this part, I thought this is a, a little microcosm of what happens on her channel where she does some crazy fuckery to somebody and wrongs someone, right? And acts like a crazy person. She lies, she manipulates, she antagonizes. And then what she does is she then turns around <clears throat> to those around her and tries to buy them off, tries to love on them. Oh, let me buy you drinks. Let me, you know, are, are, did you get the drinks that I ordered you? Blah, blah, blah. And then she feels like that she has kind of this cocoon of support. And that way, when the other person comes back to her and like this guy was like, you know, what is going on? You know, leave me alone. Stop talking to me. Just go away. I'm never coming back here again. Blah, blah, blah. Then she can turn around to her new quote friends that she bought drinks for. And it's like, oh, see, that guy's crazy. Just complete gaslighting him. This, that, that right there, I have seen that pattern on her channel over and over and over again. And I 
noticed it, but I didn't really know how to articulate it, you know, in a way that I feel like the people would understand until I watched Rose Waters video, which is what I'm going to play at the end. And she's spot on. That's exactly what is happening. Personal drinks? How many you want? How many am I? Yeah. Two. Uh, I got a Long Island. Uh, what is that? A drunk dump. A what? A drunk dump. A drunk dump? Yep. So you're trying to get drunk? Pretty much. Are you driving? Oh. I got a fiance for the best way You have a fiance? Yeah. Is that a girl? Yeah. Listen. Okay. I'm going to change this stuff. I can marry you. Okay, I missed that part too. She's an ordained minister. Okay, my pause game is on point. I'm going to have to say. So take all screenshots. <laughs> She's an ordained minister now too. Oh boy. Like, what is she not? I I'll let y'all decide. Venmo! Somebody just sent me $500. I wanted this guy's chair. That's what happened. I said, if I buy all your drinks, can I have your chair? And he just went nuts. And he said, no. That's all it was. I can't believe he paid for his own drinks. I would have bought them. Is that really it? But he went out for a smoke. <laughs> Why not? They're nice pants. Stay from China. So now she's shitting on his clothing because God forbid somebody buy their clothes at Target, right? Instead of uh, Chanel. Like, leave the guy alone. <laughs> like, I cannot. This one over here is trying to get me drunk. Are you fucking for real? Oh, it's happy hour? Yeah. I doesn't matter. Tip it up on your bucket. I'll have it. All right. Um, two either black cherry or whatever white claws you have. I like white claws. I'm fine with that, yeah. I like mine. Mine's good. I like grapefruit. I'm not the biggest black cherry fan. Okay. Yeah. Like, I can drink it. Well, you're not gay, right? You got a girl that's ready to marry you? Yeah. Take it. What do you do for a uh, I work for, I guess, meteorologist, but I drive around everywhere now. You're a yeah. I went to space camp. Cool. Again, my point game is mm, chef's kiss. Enjoy that, folks. Uh, <laughs> the dude is an actual scientist <laughs> who's like, yeah, I'm a meteorologist. And she's like, I went to space camp. <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> what did you? Oh my gosh, she's so dumb. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how uh, the weather um, is anything to do with space camp. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Pancakes for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Um, she is an ordained. She is ordained. She married a couple last year. They're the ones that gave her the dog. Ugh. See, I knew that it, it was really easy if you just, you can basically go online and be ordained, but it was just the fact that she is like a jack of all trades, right? She's everything. She's the real estate agent, right? She's the ordained minister. She apparently goes to space camp. <laughs> she's the YouTuber, the life coach, the da-da-da-da-da. It's just she's everything. And it's just, mm, okay. Space camp. Okay. Hey, son. And thanks for not taking my guy's tantrum so seriously. Because I was like, what's going on? Why are you getting so crazy? He was. All I wanted was this chair. I said, I'll buy all your drinks if you'll give me your chair. Look at my heels. Look at my fucking heels. Look at that. Nobody wants to stand in heels. What's that? I'll pay your, 
okay, if you stand up, he's like, I'm not giving him a chance. I'm like, okay, every day. Like, I know, most men would. I gotta get back to it. If you need an ordained minister, you call me. Okay, I just. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah, I know. I know that everybody can get ordained. That, yeah, I understand. I believe you. I believe you, Gray Man. It was just the fact that she, she literally claims to be everything. That's right. She also claimed to be a makeup artist, and she probably did do some of these things. But it's like. I don't know. It's just, it's crazy to me because every time there's a new stream, it's, oh, well, I, I did that. I did that. I, I already did that. I did that. I did that too. No, she claims that she is currently a life coach. No, I am not kidding, Rick. Not kidding at all. You see all those drinks? <laughs> but she only had one, right? Okay. I drank at the meet and greet and I drank at the concert last Saturday, so I figured since my son is on his first day and I can't handle it. She's drinking, they drink really hard here. It's sad. Like, a lot of them are drinking like Long Islands and things with a lot of liquor in it. I can't handle that. That'll fuck me up. Like, I'll be like, Ugh. <laughs> Check my purse. Everything's all right, Peg. What's wrong? Yeah, this is where her mods and friends start texting her, claiming that the girl was reaching into her purse. At some point, she claims that uh, she had a bad feeling, whatever that means, that her sunglasses were stolen. But then in the live stream, she pulls out her sunglasses and admits that no one stole her glasses. They were in her purse the whole time. Um, did you say that she wore this dress to her son's homecoming dance? Uh, that would be yes. But the thing is, uh, she got dressed up and she went out to dinner with her husband for his birthday. She never actually went to the dance. She wanted to go to a bar and get drunk instead. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you are funny. Um, I'm a life coach. I specialize in vaping your life away and counting to 10. <laughs> Bravo, sir or madam. That was awesome. Like, I enjoy seeing you in my chats. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but that that's that's funny as hell. Um, I imagine her son being grateful for that. Yeah, I imagine so. I mean, to be honest with you, what she's wearing is like, that's not like she, mm, it's way worse than what that girl was wearing. I'm just saying. That's bad. I have the worst that. I guess I'm mine. Who's that reader? Who else has that reader? Yeah, I'm sorry about that because my Wi-Fi is just fine because I'm right next to the router. I'm actually like I'm not on the Wi-Fi. Actually, I'm plugged directly in and I'm getting a green on everything. Uh, YouTube has been doing this for me uh, for the last two weeks and it's super annoying. 
And I, I apologize because there's really nothing I can do about it. So I'm hoping the replay will be better. Sorry about that, guys. So here she is buying more drinks, but you know, she said that she only had one. Uh, how did she get home? Uh, she calls her husband. So she gets drunk at this bar drinking White Claw after White Claw after White Claw. And then she has her husband to come pick her up. She actually says that at the end of the stream that she's going to call him to come pick her up. Like you would think that like it's his birthday, right? You would think it'd be like, mm, let me just get an Uber. But, you know, she's got to be, well, Molly. So. Oh my gosh, this is so cringe. She thinks she's a celebrity. Oh my gosh. Once again, my 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 uh pause game's on point. <laughs> uh Molly, uh, that girl don't know you. <laughs> she's at a bar having fun. She sees somebody live streaming and she goes over there to just have some fun. She doesn't actually know who you are. Like, you realize that, right? Unfortunately, you are a ordinary person like everybody else. Um, I feel so bad that her husband and, and people he knows may see this and how she's acting. Oh, yeah. I mean, remember the arrest video in New Orleans? Uh, yeah. I think that he knows very well what she is. And I think that's why I don't keep my mouth shut again. Okay. Wow, what great life coach advice. Platitudes. Like, okay. The sky is blue. Trees are green. There you go. Now I'm a life coach. Can a man legally file for divorce? I don't know if you're trolling me, but... Yes. Yes, they can. Anyone can file for divorce when they're married. Um, maybe you're from another country. I don't know. I don't want to like, you know, I'm not getting an attitude or whatever. I'm just, I'm just curious about that question. Okay. Might be a cultural confusion question. Yes. Okay. So you're not a troll. Okay. That's fine. 
That's fine. Uh, yeah. Um, in the United States, which is where she lives, um, in the United States, yes, uh, whoever's in, in a married relationship, either one can file for divorce. Each state has their own rules as far as like, you know, especially if you have like joint checking accounts and if you have kids together and things like that, then you have to go to like custody hearings and that's a whole other level of stuff or whatever. But, but yeah, regardless of who you are in the relationship, you're able to file for divorce. Did y'all just hear that? Um, I'm going to rewind about 10 seconds because I want to hear that again. This guy later talks about how he is 20. I think he says he's like 23 years old, college student. She is old enough to be his mother and then some. And she's married. So we're going to listen to that again. <laughs> Okay. Huh? Talking shit. That's that's what that's what YouTube is all about. Talking shit. I'm sure Spit is totally in there. Oh my god. Does Adrian know where you are? Yeah, they turned me off. Some guy, some guy named Jack said, "Let's go home." Yeah. Are you Jack? I'm not Jack. Did you say let's go home? No, I'm not Jack. Go home or my home? I'm Eli. I'm not Jack. Wow, she did say that. Bruh. Your home or my home? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh boy. Um, this is mad disrespectful. This is so fucking disrespectful to your husband, Molly. <laughs> like, this is beyond your boobs hanging out of your 1980s dress and the the weird pretend drunk girl thing that you're doing right now. Like beyond all of that, that is in like I don't I don't even know what to say. It wow. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's fucked up, Molly. That's fucked up. Some guy said, you said, I random dude. I random? Are you like famous? No. You have 200 viewers. <laughs> what's your, what's your name? Molly, go lightly. You need to. 
Megan Fox goes to show, doesn't matter what the tag says, you smell like desperation and failure. Yes. Yeah, this is, this is beyond embarrassing. This is beyond cringe. And it's, it's funny because when I did the New Orleans uh, stream, I had some of her uh, simpletons come to me and be like, oh, that was so three years ago. She doesn't do that anymore. And I'm like, what about this? <laughs> this was literally a week ago. Are they going to comment under this stream too and be like, oh, that was so a week ago. No, this is a pattern. That's what this is. Um, <laughs> yeah, I honestly don't think that he's going to divorce her. If he has put up with her for this long, I, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. Um, can you imagine what you would do to your husband if you saw a video of him acting like this? I mean, yeah, like I would, I would be pissed, right? If I did this to my husband, he would be pissed at me and rightfully so. Like, I don't care what kind of a relationship that you're in. This was wrong. This is wrong. Like she's going around telling people that she's single, flirting with them and now she's telling this kid here's older than her son and she's like oh your house or my your place or mine <laughs> like what oh my goodness um thank you so much i appreciate that welcome to the dumpster fire um i saw your comment let's see I was only asking because I heard something about certain instances about men not being able to file for divorce. So yeah, not trolling. Okay. Yeah. Um, as like, as far as I know, that's not a thing. Um, I think that in some States when there's kids involved, I think that it's a lot more complicated and there are some States that will make you wait a certain period of time. Um, I've never been divorced. However, I know people that have gone through that process, unfortunately, and they had kid, there was a kid involved and the state they lived in made them file for separation first. And they had to be legally separated for like, I think it was like a year or something before they could actually file the divorce papers. But they still could file for divorce, file for separation, which got the process started. That's what they ended up having to do. So yeah, it was definitely a longer process because they had a kid that was in the middle of it. But, um, but yeah, as, as far as I'm, as far as I know, there's nothing stopping someone from filing the paperwork. I think that just in some cases, the process is a lot longer and you have to jump through more hoops because there are kids involved and you have to go through like custody hearings and all of that stuff. So, so yeah, but, um, thank you for the question. I appreciate that. You graduated from what? Oh my God. He graduated from that. Did you want to call it? Yeah, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. We're trying to get it into Duke. Duke University. It's in the first time now. So Ryan, I'll protect you. 
Okay. <laughs> so right about now, I start getting kind of quiet on the video in parts because she's not really saying anything. It's mostly just watching what she's doing and there's music playing in the background. So obviously I'm not going to get a strike for that. So yeah, this is just when you think you, she can't get worse. This is what happens. She doesn't even realize that these college guys are actually trolling her. They're fucking with her. Because they know that she's probably going to get them free drinks. And they're going to be on a live stream. Like she doesn't even realize that they are fucking with her. Okay, this is when I think I start um, muting it. Um, turn the volume down a little bit. Um, I think I mute it. Mm, but I muted this part. Okay, I'm going to, let me see, one second. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume down really low. And I'm just going to let it keep playing with the volume low because I'm not, I'm not getting a copyright strike. Um, I'll just talk to you guys while I do this. Um, She's going to get her butt beat one of these days. Yeah, like I can't even imagine going into a bar and and picking a fight with somebody. That's her like fourth drink, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's her fourth drink. Mm -hmm. But she only had one, right? Okay. But yeah, um, Monkey Bar, I can't even imagine going into a bar and picking a fight with a complete stranger and then acting like you're the victim. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. Um, she doesn't care that they're trolling. I tend to agree with you. I think that she just wants the attention. They're making fun of, yeah. They're totally making fun of her. This entire thing is trustful. I respect your pride. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, this, this woman is so, she's, She's crazy. She's so outrageous. Um, imagine being with this 24-7. She's so fucking manic and selfish and entitled. I can't even imagine what it's like. No wonder her husband was like, let the bar babysit you. I'm going home. <laughs> like, I'm not surprised by that at all. Um, I worked at... As a DJ in a bar for three years, women like this are the cause of many fights. Yes. Yeah, definitely the cause of many fights. I seriously hate bars like this. Oof, gives me a cozy bar with tables and booths. I'm happy. Yeah, same. I mean, because, like, I'm in my 30s. Like, I'm, I'm done with the whole, like, bar hopping. And, like, that's just 
I don't do that anymore. Like there comes a time where it's like, you just don't, you're just not into that stuff anymore. Right. I would much rather go hang out with my friends and find a booth somewhere and like have a good time. Like I don't need, like, I don't, I never did this. I never like had my boobs hanging out um, telling people that I was single when I was actually married. Like I would never do any of that kind of shit, but like, I don't find this fun anymore. Like this is not something that I would do. And it's like, if she wants to do that, no shade on that. But the fact that it's just like the way that she's doing it, she ditched her husband's boy, uh, like birthday dinner to come here and he didn't want to be there. And so you would think, okay, it's his birthday. Why not spend time with him? At the same time, her son's at a homecoming dance. It's just, it's really strange. Like just everything that she does is so strange to me. Um, I was down in West La Lafayette with my son and husband after the Purdue game and we party and had fun, but that's different. Yeah, right. You, you would want to hang out with your family. You hang out with your friends. Like, I don't understand why she is constantly traveling and going out and partying by herself. I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah, they're playing music again, so I have the, the volume down. Um, you would rather sit around a fire with friends? Yeah, I mean, that's fun, too. That's fun, too. You don't go out with boobs out and flirt with every guy. Well, you're just <laughs> no, a good clip, coach. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a good life coach. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's kind of embarrassing. It is. It is. This whole thing is really embarrassing. Like I showed some of this to my husband and I was like, what would you do if I ever did something like this? And he he was just like, because mm. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want my husband to go to a bar and flirt with every female and tell people that he's single. Like, just think about your, like, your significant other doing that to you. You would, you would feel salty about that for sure. <laughs> we get drunk at the house now. Don't have to worry about people driving drunk. Yeah, that's a good point, too. That's a good point. But there's always Uber. Like, I don't understand why she had to call her husband out. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, this was supposed to be like his birthday. This was supposed to be like his birthday, um, his dinner. And he went home. Yeah, it's, it's really disrespectful. And it's really sad, too, because somebody who does this, they don't respect themselves. But I wonder if she's like Shani in that she just doesn't care. Go out to socialize and you stream and talk to more strangers. Yeah. Yeah. It bugs me how she gaslighted the poor guy for his chair. Yeah, can you imagine? He probably went home and thought that somebody was playing a joke on him. Because he kept repeating himself over and over, what is happening right now? What's going on right now? Like, I feel bad for that guy. Oh, this is a good, yeah. So this is a good part right here. Um, again, the link to this video is in the description. Because I don't want to get a copyright strike, I have the volume super low. But at this point, um, this girl asked her if she has an OnlyFans. And Molly was like, no, I don't have an OnlyFans. And then Molly turns to the camera and goes, why does everybody ask me that? <laughs> and I'm like, why do you think everybody asked you that? Why do you think, Molly? Let, let's think about it. I wonder, Molly. I wonder.
Yikes. Um, let me see, I saw. It would be different if she was with, had a few friends with her. Yeah, I agree. Like, again, it's like she goes to a bar alone and gets drunk and is flirting with a bunch of guys, telling people, oh, your place are mine, and oh, I'm single, while her husband on his birthday is at home. Like, that's just, that's just weird to me. So here's yet another guy that she's flirting with. Um, he talks about how he like sells tamales or whatever. And she's like, Oh, let me get your number. Um, if you make tamales the way that I like it, you can, you could come to my house and bring them to me. This is a total stranger at a bar that she's inviting to her house. Girl, what, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? So I, she did not blur out his phone number. So I blurted out. I um I muted that part because so he's like I got some tamales at my house right now. Hmm, crazy. Okay, so we're going to skip to the very end, and I'm going to turn the volume up again. And you're going to hear her yet. Yeah, yeah. You're going to hear her say that her husband's going to pick him up, pick her up. <clears throat> I'm trying not to get a copyright strike, guys. Sorry. So she's like, I'm running out of battery. I'm going to call my husband to come get me. Okay, girl. Okay. So what I thought was really interesting is what happens after Okay, hold on one second. So then there's two short clips that we're going to watch of the retcon afterwards. So this next clip was, let me get the date for you guys. This, um, this next clip was September 24th, so just a couple of days ago. Okay. Um, and this is kind of her version of what happened with the guy. Uh, don't you just respect burnt toast for looking out for others when the OC maker doesn't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I just, I don't know. Like the people that I review have no respect for boundaries or for people's privacies. And I don't know. I just feel I, I can't do a stream putting out people's phone numbers. I just, I can't do that. So I muted it. So this is her retcon of what happened with the guy. Oh my God. Ginger Locks. I was there last week. I went back to that bar that's on the strip. It was fun. I uh, wanted this guy's seat so bad that I had to bribe him and everyone around us to get that seat. Then it just annoyed the crap out of him. Adrian didn't come in because he wanted to change out of his suit that he was wearing. And he had to go pick up the kids at the... Um, um, what do you call it? The homecoming, which me and Adrian did not approve of her attire. But now Jake's got a girlfriend. And um, love ya. Um, did you hit your poor head? Uh, I don't know. I didn't. Um, just, yeah, I had a couple of uh, white claws. Adrian came back, picked me up yeah, for about an hour. And uh, went home and watched some Downton Abbey. This is my life, people. This is it. And I had a dream again. Well, oh, another another story. Okay, so so yeah, so now she's saying that she was just bribing people, and he just gave up his seat because she gave him money. Mm, 
not, that's not what happened. We just saw what happened. She didn't give him any money because even after she paid for his stuff, he went back to the bartender and argued and said, no, you're going to take that off of her tab. I'm paying for my own. So he ended up paying for his own, even though she was trying to bribe him. And she, there's no remorse whatsoever. None. Well, I, that I killed someone last night, but also I had a dream that I had booked a trip to Brussels, Berlin, and somewhere else. And I was like, at least he was wearing a tire. Well, we, he, he put on a suit because Jake was wearing a suit and I was dressed up and me and him were going to go out to dinner to celebrate his birthday. And he wanted to go to this special dessert place. By the time we went to dinner, he was full. So that's what happened. Oh. Did, no, I think he went for a smoke. No, he went out for a smoke. I took the chair and the bartender is kind of sided with me and he got upset and he left. I wasn't drunk. Okay, so here she lies again, like it's another story. First, at the beginning of this, this clip is only, what, three minutes long? The beginning of this, she says, oh, I gave him money and he just gave it up. So now she gets called out by one of her own subs. And now the story changes. Oh, well, he actually went out to get a smoke and I took a seat. Okay. I wasn't drunk or anything. I was just like, I, and I told him, I was like, listen, I'm wearing these really over, like, I was like, I'm wearing these heels. He's like, oh, it was just being a, a jerk. That's how the people are here in Hershey. They think that they're, they think that they're like something special. He even, he's like, I live on Caracas Street. Oh, well, excuse fucking me. Go on. I care about Caracas Street. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but they weren't having him. They knew, they knew that when they saw me that they were going to get a good tip. And he knew he couldn't. And he's like, I don't want you to pay for my drinks. And he got a bill for $52. They never gave me a bill for $52. <laughs> what? So, okay. So, because the bartender, okay. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so they could just tell by looking at you that you're worth more than him. Wow, Molly. Let me let me throw something out there for you. Uh, people who actually have money don't have to brag about it all the time. You have no idea what that man had or didn't have. He doesn't have to have a Chanel purse. Or wear, you know, whatever the fuck shoes you're wearing from 2015. Like, he doesn't have to have all of that to prove that he has money. Okay. So, and then there is this clip, uh, which is also very short. Uh, which is just recently, like, I think this was like the 25th or 26th, where she talks about this Again, so let's see where the story changes again this time. Last Saturday, I went live. My husband uh, was like, hey, I'll drop you off at the Devon. And Devon is like a very classy restaurant. And they're like, no, we close at nine. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. So I ended up walking over to like this bar where a lot of college people go. And it was like fucking packed. I had my freaking purse like this. And I'm like, torturing this guy to get out of the seat so I can have it because I'm wearing heels. And people are texting me. I can't see shit because I have no glasses on. So I'm telling this little bitch to talk to them and read out the comments. And it turns out the girl's putting her hands in my fucking purse. Did any of y'all see that? Because I didn't. I've watched the video multiple times. That girl never put her hand in, in Molly's purse. Also, I find it very interesting that she was all nicey-nicey with her, buys her and her boyfriend drinks, 
says, ooh, subscribe to my channel. The girl subscribes to her channel and is like keeping her audience entertained while she's fighting and her words, torturing, quote unquote, the guy for his seat. So now she's going to turn around and call her a bitch. What? Are y'all kind of seeing a pattern here? Because I am. She used that girl in the moment to have people on her side, right? Only buy you drinks. Oh, that guy, he's weird, blah, blah, blah. So the second that she's done with the girl, all of a sudden it's like, oh, that bitch. She put her hand in my purse. No. She did not. But please, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Let, like, give me a timestamp of where you saw this girl put her hands in her ugly ass gaudy purse. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Oh, wow. And the Jalox is going, Marissa, watch your purse. And I'm like, ah, what you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? And... The girl looks into the camera. I didn't see it, but she says, you can Venmo me, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. But I'm just saying, like, I couldn't believe, like, I live in Hershey. This is my town now. I don't know where you're from, little girl, but if I would have seen her fucking phalanges in this fucking purse, I would have took her fucking hands and twisted her fucking hands on camera and said, she went into my fucking X amount of fucking, <laughs> listen, this purse was, is worth more than my life. Yeah. More than my life. I get it. And you want to know something? It was really strange because me and my husband were in bed that night and I'm laying there and I, I thought to myself, a Chanel sunglasses. And I was like, because I went in there with that. I'm like, where are my Chanel sunglasses? Guess what? Why didn't she take my Chanel sunglasses? Because her hands were never in your purse. Why are you defaming a complete stranger? Acting like it wasn't the way that it was because she was yucking it up with the girl the whole time. Oh, Hannah. Oh, you're cute. Ooh, let me buy you a drink. Ooh. And now you're calling her a bitch. You're calling her a thief. You're acting like, oh, this is my town now. Girl, you are a nobody. You are just like everybody else. You are an ordinary person. You are not better than that girl, and that girl is not better than you. You're just like everybody else. Sorry to break it to you. You are not a celebrity. You are not famous. You are an ordinary person. But this is what she does, right? Like she will literally use someone when it's advantageous to whatever her goal is at that moment. And then when she's done with them, she shits on them in the next live stream. That's what that's what she does. <laughs> Why? Maybe she didn't know that was Chanel. That's crazy, right? Well, I mean, they're <laughs> I would have seen her. Did she have her fifth cappuccino? I don't know what the hell they were drinking. I bought them. I was like, buy them around of fucking drinks, whatever. That's what I do, just to kind of calm it down a little. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so you bought all these people drinks to calm them down? While you're shaking your boobs and telling everybody that you're single? Huh? And might I add, she did this stream because that bar scene video that I showed you, yeah, she deleted that. Didn't even put it on private. It's gone. She deleted it. She claimed it was because she got some copyright claims because one of the songs in, in the video. But you can go in, in the back end of YouTube and mute the song out. And that's all she would have had to done. But she put it back up because <clears throat> I think that she wanted to later pretend like it didn't happen. <laughs> she wanted to pretend like that none of that happened. Yeah, I, I get it. I'm just like, hey, I get them. But I just really wanted that fucking chair. I had to, I had to bug this dude who was a total dick. I had to tell him, I had to record him and be like, yeah, I really want to say he, he did not want to give me his chair. But then he got, I badgered him, I recorded him, 
I was like, look at my heels. Look how tall they are. Please, please, please. I'll buy you drinks. He's like, I don't want you to buy me. I'm just, the guy's a fucking total dick. And I never met a guy that wasn't a gentleman and just gave up his seat. So I had no other choice but to put the camera on him and show what a jerk he was. And he got up for a smoke. And then I was like, um, and then I was like, uh, oh, fuck my ass. All right, so Critical K is saying that Brian Laundry is in Venezuela. She starts talking about the guy again. I don't know. Okay. I just love the way Google's telling me that they just charged me $10 or something. Whatever. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care where Brian Laundry is. It's not my fucking problem. I'm not a detective. I just hope that Gabby gets the justice that she deserves. No more chivalry. Yeah. <laughs> no more chivalry. It's all dead. Okay. First of all, that's not true at all. Okay. When I was dating my husband, he opened doors for me and all of that. He still does that to this day. Okay. That's number one. Number two, chivalry is not walking into a bar and going up to a random stranger and saying, give me your, give me your seat. And if you don't, I'm going to put you on my YouTube channel, call you a loser and badger the fuck out of you until you rage quit the bar. That my dear is way different than walking into a door and having a guy, um, you know, hold the door open for you or something. That's the same as if like you went into a restaurant and walked up to a table where people were sitting and eating and saying, you will give me your booth right now. Girl, that's not chivalry. That's you being an entitled brat, being a spoiled, entitled brat, thinking that you can just walk into a restaurant, a restaurant bar thing, and demand that you take somebody else's seat. You walked up to him with the camera on him immediately and he got defensive because most people don't want to be on your stupid YouTube channel. Did you get your free drinks? Uh, no, I bought my own drinks. I was just drinking White Claws. White Claws? Yeah. My husband ended up that. Uh, going home, getting out of his shirt and tie. He was wearing a suit because it was our son's first homecoming. And by the time he got out, he had to pick up the kids, bring them back, and then he came back and got me. My, <laughs> he was extra. I thought he was going to clobber you. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Okay. All right. <laughs> My goodness. I don't know. I, I just could not. I would not put up with that whatsoever. My dog is being whiny. Um, so now I'm going to play... One second. Let me see if I can get to it again. Um, okay, here it is. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. So this is Rose Waters video. The link to this uh, video is in the description underneath this stream. Uh, sub to her channel and give this video a like. Um, I thought that her commentary was spot on, which is why it's for me the comment of the week. And the whole time I was like, amen, amen, because she just hit the nail on the head and she was way more articulate than I've been tonight. Um, but anyway, this was pretty amazing. I got another video of Molly at the bar that actually you can hear a lot better. And I'm debating on whether to put it out there or not. 
I've been watching her for since the Chris, Chris Watts case. I came across her during the Chris Watts case because I did a few videos for that case too. But I was already in the drama community prior to Chris Watts. And when I first saw her, like she had it together. She looked, she was well put together. Everything, you know, she looked, she looked nice. Her approach was calm. Um, I've commented too much. Sorry. No, 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 no. No, you haven't commented too much. That's not, there's no such thing. I appreciate everybody's comment. Um, I know that there's oftentimes comments that I miss because the chat's going fast and I'm looking at another like monitor, but no, um, if you still feel like that you need to leave, um, have a great night. Um, but no, you didn't, you don't need to apologize for commenting. It's fine. Like she was telling a story. She, she can tell a story. We all know that. But the only thing is most of her stories is her way of manipulating most people. Definitely all her subs. And how she does it is the same way as she did it in the bar. She throws her money around. She throws her connections around. She throws her boobs around. She uses every thing that she has in her arsenal to get what she wants. And it was evident in the bar. All she wanted was that man's chair because her he, she had heels on. So she thought <laughs> she has the audacity to think that the man should have got up. He was already there. He was comfy. He was at the bar. He was doing his thing. Obviously wanted to be left the hell alone, but she doesn't. I mean, being a life coach, you think you would feel hostility from another human being. Like I could feel his hostility towards you. And I was only listening to it. Like, are you impervious to this stuff? Like, you're so gra grandiose that you can't feel. I thought you were intuitive. So you're counter, you counter everything that you say. Like, you, you, th you think that you think you're intuitive. You think you are here to better human beings to give an example you're you're portraying trying to portray an empath and a per and trying to impersonate a person that has empathy intuition compassion but it's all a charade like you're none of that you are absolutely none of that even in your real life, this was in a bar in your, in your, what would you call it? Your habitat, in your own <laughs> habitat at the bar. You're at the bar. I, I listened to more of the tape and basically you're at the bar because you couldn't handle your son's first date. Does that make any sense? No. Nope. Your son is going for the first time out with a girl to have a wonderful time. You made a big deal about it. You took him clothes shopping. You got his hair cut. Mm -hmm. You understood the gravity of the situation. Right. And as a life coach, your th thought is to run away to the bar and get sloshed with strangers <laughs> like, and pick a fight with a man at the bar. Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? You Thank you, Rosewater. Exactly. It was incredibly dangerous, incredibly dangerous. And she's right. She's spot on with her commentary. You are the exact opposite of compassionate, the exact opposite of empathetic, the exact opposite of intuitive. You're none of those things, Molly. You were trying to incite other people to be mad at the poor man that was only minding his own damn business. I don't know you. I don't know you. How many times did he repeat? I don't know you. Exactly. Stop doing this. What are you doing? You were even getting him into the shot in the video. And he's 
telling you to bugger off and you still continue. And then you holler out that he's smoking. Like you, you did everything. You call them poor. You call them, uh, you, you almost, in your political situation down in the United States, I would not be calling anybody a Trumper or a Biden supporter because. Exactly the point that I was making. Like you just don't know where people are and people are crazy. Okay. Yeah, I just, I can't, I cannot echo enough of what Rosewater is saying right now. Does that incite, you're inciting, you do, you tried to incite other people into getting rid of this man. You tried to buy his chair for a hundred dollars and his drinks because you, you gave a tip to the bartender. <laughs> you can't buy everything, Molly. Molly, you just can't buy respect you can't buy obviously honor you can't buy class you can't buy you can't buy any of that you really can't you can't buy intuition either and you can't buy empathy <laughs> you can't none of that none of that's none of that it has a price tag either you have it or you don't and you don't neither does laura like i don't the two of you are made out of the same mold like, seriously? Then there's probably a few others. That you get, but you two, I'm telling you. Wow. Half the things that you do, I would swear I was going to be hit by lightning if I did it. I really do. Like, I real that's how my life goes. Like, I'm thinking, you know, I don't go out intentionally to hurt people. I really don't. I keep to myself. I respect others. But when you have t ladies like you, I, you know, people should say, no, don't even call them ladies. Like, I don't know what else to call you. I really don't. Like, I know you're not ladies. <laughs> you're, you're so close to being male that you're just like a hair breath away from being an alpha male. Both of you. And that's your approach on life. Pretty much go for the throat. Get what you want damn with the others like you don't give a shit about anybody not even your own families you put them second you're first because you're the priority your feelings that's about all i got to say holy jumpers ladies mm -mm -mm. totally agree well said well said oh my goodness So what did y'all think about that? <laughs> um, that one part where she was like, um, yeah, I'm single. And then she tells the other guy, you know, your place or mine. I didn't hear those parts at first. That was really surprising to me. Um, yeah. And it's really sad, too, because this is, I mean, if you think about it, this is what he's modeling. This is what she's modeling to her son. And I have a feeling that no matter what girl he ends up bringing home, she's never going to be good enough. And that's like, like, this is like the before of one of those like uh, TV, those reality TV shows where you see where there's like the the crazy mother-in-law that oversteps boundaries and is just a complete menace. Like this is the before of that. <laughs> um, the man she asked, your place or mine was 23. Yes. Yep. Over only 23. And his mother is younger than she is. He said his mother is 44. Mm. Wow. Um, um, I find flirting and buying drinks for coffee uh, for college guys to be pretty damn creepy myself. Yeah, it is. It is very strange. Thanks, Toast. Have a wonderful night. You too. I appreciate that, Standall. Um, yeah, this is... 
This is crazy. But you see why I found this so interesting? Because the way that she was acting at the bar, like Rose, Rosewater was saying, the way that she was acting at the bar is exactly how she runs her YouTube channel. I mean, that's brilliant. Um, the 23-year-old is her, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know. Um, yes, if an older man did that to a younger female. Imagine if it was a 47-year-old man acting creepy like that to a college girl. Yeah. But apparently when she does it, her subs are like, ooh, and like egging her on. And it's just, I don't know. The whole thing is just very, very strange to me. Um, he asked her if Adrian knew where she was uh, when she first went up. Well, what he was doing is um, the 23-year-old was reading her comments. And in her comments, there were people, her own subs, they were asking her, hey, does Adrian know that you're there? Is he there with you? Like they were asking about Adrian. And if you watch the video, if you go back and watch, he's like, um, oh, who's Adrian? And she's like, oh, that's my husband. Um, things are out of control out there today um, that even the smallest thing can set someone off. Yeah, set off someone. Yeah, I, I agree. Like just aside from the climate that we're in right now, you know, just going up to a random stranger and antagonizing like that is, that's not smart. <laughs> Especially when there's alcohol involved. Like, are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, yeah, she totally pulled a G-man there. Uh, typical Molly bullshit. Yeah, clearly. Um, I think Adrian is much happier, a much happier man when she is away from him, but then has to suffer her wrath when she gets home. I tend to agree. Hey, what's up, figure skating coach? What's up? Yeah, I'm just about ending, but um, but definitely look back at some crazy, crazy videos. Um, those guys knew better. They were not in any danger. They were loving this the next day. Sure, they had a good laugh. Oh, I totally agree with you. But I think the guy at the bar that she was, um, in her words, torturing at the very beginning, I think he could have lost his temper and um, done something really stupid. And I'm glad that he didn't. Um, but he didn't deserve that. He's just a just random, normal person at a bar trying to relax and eat food. And what she did was just out completely outrageous. And it's amazing to me that um, she just like shakes her boobs and gets away with it. And I think that um, that's not always going to work. <laughs> it's certainly not working on YouTube because <laughs> there's a lot of people that are calling her out and she can't bat her eyes and gaslight and shake her boobs and offer to buy people drinks. So she can't do that on YouTube. So mm, sorry, not sorry. Uh, Molly doesn't even care about the fact that she ruined his son's date with the girlfriend. I, I don't think she cares about anybody but herself, to be honest with you. To me, Molly is like a, a shanty that still has money and, uh, has better hygiene. That's it. If you had shanty care about the way that she looked and was, vain and ha still had the money that she used to have. Yeah. That's the, the, sim the similarities are pretty striking. I thought Shani's antics were bad, but Molly's goes that extra step into being pathetic. Yeah, I mean, they do a lot of the same stuff. They do a lot of the, and there's a lot of similarities, a lot and exactly, Honey Badger, Molly actually has teeth. <laughs> um, she has the mentality of a spoiled 10-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say it again. The bartender failed at reading the situation. I completely agree. 
Deborah, completely agree. Because she was the troublemaker. And even after the guy left, she was still being loud and obnoxious. And when you're in a like a sports bar like that, where you actually have booths of people, where it's not just a bar, it's an actual restaurant and a bar. So you have people that are there, maybe with their families, eating dinner, watching a football game. So it's 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 a little different than a 21 and up bar only. And when you have somebody in that situation who is being obnoxious, antagonistic, trying to start fights with people, then you add alcohol into that too. Like you, you remove the troublemaker. You don't remove a paying customer. That's just my opinion. It's just as creepy when an older woman lures a younger man, like an older man luring a younger woman that the way that she did. Yeah, it was really weird. Like that whole thing was really, really inappropriate. And again, that's boundaries that she's crossing. But I, I agree with some of you guys. I don't think that her husband cares. I really don't. I think, in my opinion, I think that when she goes off on these uh, trips and goes to these bars and all this other kind of stuff, I think that he is at home and is like, oh, quiet. <laughs> I think that's what he does. And he probably like just is able to relax. Cause I've also noticed that like um, when it comes to the son, he's running around and doing all of this stuff, taking him to boy scouts and taking him to all of these different things that she, you know, blasts all over her YouTube channel and talks about, right? Like he takes her to all, takes him to all these different things and she's sitting there on a live stream, you know, just being a YouTuber. It's weird. Uh, those guys knew she was a nut and got free drinks out of it. Exactly. That they were, this is what I don't even think, I don't know if she cares or if she knows or what, but they were using her. They were trolling her. They were batting her eye because they knew that she was going to buy them drinks. All those people, they don't actually care about her. They were using her for free drinks and to get on a live stream. That's all it was. Meanwhile, she sits on her live stream and is like, oh, I was the one in charge. I gave them money and to buy them drinks to calm everybody down. Girl, what? You were the one that was acting manic. They were just sitting minding their own business. You walked into a restaurant and started acting crazy, picking a fight with a stranger. Uh, does she act differently around her husband? I don't know, other than the very beginning of uh, the bar video. There's a section where she's in the car with her husband. And it was, to me, it was very telling because he's irritated. He's done. He wants to go home. And she's interrupting him, talking over him, um, just talking to him like he's a child. And I don't know, that that was not cool at all. It was it was incredibly disrespectful. So if that is a, a sort of a microcosm of what the rest, the rest of their relationship is like, I imagine it's probably not very fun. <laughs> Tired after class makes me hella petty. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Get that A. She acts the same way. Um, he can't stand her. He just yeses her up. To, I agree, Cookie's mom. He yeses her up to shut her up. Yes. And again, my opinion, just my opinion, I think that YouTube and all of these other things that she does is to placate her. That's what I think. Um, I miss makeup mobs. Yeah, same, same. Didn't know her very well because I wasn't around for a lot, um, at first, but, um, yeah, I do miss her. She's cool. Um, with that said, um, I want to thank everybody for showing up today. And like I said, the links to, uh, those two videos are in the description. 
uh, sub to those channels, like those videos. You can watch the um, the bar scene video again. I apologize for YouTube making my stuff choppy. I don't know why it does that sometimes. It's super annoying because like right now I'm not having any issue. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, oh, I'm glad you had fun. I really enjoy this. I, I enjoy like reviewing these like weirdos on the internet. It's kind of fun. Um, but thanks everybody who, um, super chatted me. Thanks to all my mods. Thanks to everyone who became a member. I really appreciate it. You don't have to, but I do appreciate it. And also one last thing, um, for those of you who are mods, um, I do have extra spaces to do more emojis. So if you would like a particular type of emoji, or you think that something would be really funny, I don't care what it is. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think my emojis should be. I think I have room for like two more. I'll have to go back and see. Um, maybe two or three more. But yeah, just give me your top three things, emojis that you think that I should add. And I will do my best to try to find a cool version of what you suggest. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much. And I will play you out with a song. And I will say, see you later. Peace out. You want to know, is this woman a whore? And if she's a whore, G-Man, where is your proof? Because if you ain't got no proof, G-Man, you're slandering and you're just as bad as everybody else. <laughs> She is a whore, yeah. the former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore, yeah. the former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is yeah. a whore, yeah. the former prostitute. It smells like Ryan Fish too, and I'm going to prove it. Burnt toast. She is yeah. a whore, yeah. the former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is yeah. a whore, yeah. the former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is yeah. a whore, yeah. the former prostitute. So I've been watching her, and I think it's about time this is said. The woman's lying. The woman is not a Christian. There's some rumors going around that she's a former prostitute, and maybe she played around with the idea of Christianity. Hey, 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 Bert, so I know me and you got off on the wrong, on, on the wrong foot and whatnot, but I gotta give you some of that strudel. Mm -hmm. Burnt toast. Mm -hmm. Call me Burnt toast. Call me. Little girls like Burnt toast who needs to grow up and enter puberty. You know what I mean? What about people like Burnt toast, the little girl who needs to grow up? Right, Burnt toast. Let me walk your carpet street, Burnt toast. Okay. Toast knows she wants some of that people strudel. She knows it. Yeah. I'll bake you some later when you give me a call. Burnt toast gets exposed into the ground. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Smells like Ryan fish too. And I'm going to prove it. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. And I'm going to prove it. So, so anyway, Burnt Toast, I think me and you got off on the wrong foot. I'm going to give you a second chance to prove yourself, all right? She, she, she's a she's a huge, huge whore. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. And I'm going and to I'm prove it. it. Remember, there's a big difference between a righteous judgment and Satan slandering the saints. I, I, I would never date Burnt Toast. I would never want to conversate with Burnt Toast. I think Burnt Toast is a jerk. I know for a fact that I, I'm really buying into the idea that Burnt Toast is only about maybe 15 or 16 years old. Burnt Toast. Burnt Toast. How is a Christian supposed to behave? I'm just curious. How is a Christian supposed to behave?